Some 30 kilometers outside of Ouagadougou, a sea of people have come from near and far this Sunday to see a young woman. 20-year-old Adja is famous across Burkina Faso for what people believe are her healing powers. For those who are desperate or unable to afford treatment, she is a godsend. At the beginning of the madness, I told my parents I'm not crazy, but they didn't believe. There was a three-year-old who couldn't walk, and I swore with my life that I would treat him for 12 days and he would walk. When I gave medicine, the child got up on the 11th day and started walking. So on the 12th day, people started suspecting. Some say it's madness, others say it's not. As incantations ring through the air, Adja walks among the crowd. She uses Muslim prayer, traditional medicine and spell-clearing ceremonies to heal. Today I don't even know why God gave me power to this point. If I get up and say I want this, he gives it to me. If I see someone sick, if I say I'll help them, he helps the person. In this country where traditional beliefs remain strong, her healings are free, but she does accept offerings. The patient was suffering from recurrent vertigo. We took medication from all sides, but to no avail. An acquaintance told us about Adja and we came. When we came, everything went back to normal. He managed an orange money booth and was able to return to work. Adja will declare her powerlessness in desperate cases or those outside of her field of expertise, and people believe in her integrity. As a child haunted with visions, she says she was considered crazy, rejected, beaten and chained by her family. But today, she thanks her torturers, saying that because of the way they treated her, she knows how to take care of people.